You know, I've been playing video games for a very long time. I would hope that at this point, people take my opinions with at least a grain of salt. But, you know, I have become jaded. I have become a little bit pessimistic about the industry. Like, I have my major issues with it. Like, currently, you know, randomly, I saw a photo on Facebook today that showed Rex, Erdnot Rex from the Mass Effect franchise with a bunch of little baby Krogans. And it was super cute. And I was like, oh, this is, I love this. And then I remembered the ending to the Mass Effect trilogy. And that was EA. And now EA is reviving uh, Dead Space, you know, after they killed it. But this video isn't about Dead Space. You see, we've had a bit of a remake surge happening lately in the games industry. You have Capcom reproducing some of their best games, and in my opinion, doing a good job at it, with Resident Evil 2 remake, the Resident Evil 3 remake, and now Resident Evil 4 remake is on the horizon, and it looks damn good. With those remakes being produced and Dead Space on the way, it seems that a certain company has drudged itself up from the sludge and has decided that they are going to throw their hat into this ring as well. Before I get into what this video is about, I want to tell you guys a story. A long time ago, there was one game. One game, like many other games, that basically coined and grandfathered an entire franchise, an entire genre. Much in the same way that Doom was what started all of the Doom clones, all the shooters, boomer shooters, and much in the way that our modern-day Souls series has started its own genre of gaming. And to be clear, just call it Souls-like. Stop with these Souls-born, Sekiro-like. No, just Souls. Souls is the originator, okay? They call them Doom clones because it was like Doom, not because it was like fucking Wolfenstein and all the other stuff. And yes, I know Wolfenstein was first. Calm down. But back in the day, there was one game, one game that made a genre. That game was Resident Evil. It was a fixed camera angle, tank controls that still work to this day. It's a skill issue. If you can't do tank controls, you just suck. It had fixed camera angles, tank controls, puzzles, monsters, limited resources, limited inventory space, and the entire goal of the game was to survive. It wasn't about beating all the monsters. It wasn't about getting a high score until the battle modes came. It was about survival, and it coined the survival horror franchise. That little game came from Capcom. And to this day, Capcom has been making Resident Evils, for better or for worse. But there was another company that wanted it on that sweet, sweet dosh. And they had a team, Team Silent. And they told these guys, we want you to make something like this. We want it to be big, loud, boisterous. We want you to make something that competes with Resident Evil. And whether it was incompetence or just sheer defiance, Team Silent did none of that. They produced a little game called Silent Hill. A psychological survival horror. A game that was a lot more about getting into your head than the monsters on screen. While Resident Evil could be said that it's grounded with its actual physical, tangible zombies, I've always felt like Silent Hill was more grounded, despite the supernatural elements, with the simple but effective horror that it produced. Team Silent made the first three Silent Hill games, and I think they're quite good. Arguably, Silent Hill 4 is also good, because I think that was one of the last games they worked on, but it wasn't originally a Silent Hill game. And since then, we've had a lot of different companies try to do Silent Hill and failed miserably. I am a Silent Hill fan. I love this franchise. I love the dark, depraved, very introspective themes that it covers. Themes that I don't think you could adequately cover today in this market because of how offended and angry people get at certain things like self-slaughter and rape. But Silent Hill tackled those issues. It tackled the issues of guilt. It tackled the issues of self-loathing. It tackled the issues of failure. It did a lot with very little. And it was effective horror. 
I say all these things to get to the very point of this video. Fuck Konami. Much in the way I say fuck EA and fuck the Dead Space remake, I've already had one of my subscribers ask me about a Let's Play, and I told him I won't be buying it. If you want me to play it, you'll send it to me. And I believe he's agreed to that, so in the future, Dead Space will get played, but I'm not spending a dime on it. And I'm not spending a dime on the Silent Hill 2 remake either. Much because Konami can't be trusted. This company has done some shady shit. For a long time, they have done terrible things in the game industry. They drug Hideo Kojima through the mud. Let, let's, be, let's be real clear. Silent Hill is a great franchise, but it was not their moneymaker. Metal Gear Solid was. And that was Hideo Kojima's brainchild. Granted, a lot of people had to work with him to dial it back, but Metal Gear Solid was Konami's flagship franchise. And what did they do? They ruined... What was it? The last third of Metal Gear Solid 5? They fired Kojima. They released the fucking, what was it? Metal Gear Survive, which I trolled in the back in the day. I was like, yeah, I'll buy that day one. No, I never bought it. I, I, I demoed it and I was like, ooh, this is bad. They did pachinko machines. They teased. They've done so much crap. And they've got some stellar franchises under their belt. They've got Metal Gear Solid. They've got Castlevania. They've got... Um, Silent Hill. But I gotta be honest, the fanboys are already frothing at the mouth over this Silent Hill 2 remake. And I can't help but say that you really shouldn't be. Silent Hill 2? Let me just hurt all your feelings real quick. Silent Hill 2 is fucking overrated. Are all the fanboys gone? They probably disliked and left their angry comments, but... If you're still watching, you're probably an individual who wants to hear what I have to say. Silent Hill 2 is not a bad game. It's a great game. It's a classic. It has a lot going for it. But the fact that they went for Silent Hill 2 over 1 and 3 really bothers me. Because the things that people remember about Silent Hill 2, while they are great and very introspective, themes of depression, themes of suicide themes of sexual abuse. I don't really feel that that's what Silent Hill is. And that's why a lot of these Western developers that made their Silent Hills, I don't think did it well. Silent Hill 2 is overrated. I think that Silent Hill 1 and 3 are far superior games. And I'm disappointed that they would go straight for 2, as well as announcing like a whole bunch of other Silent Hill things, just ignoring really the history, you know? I've been a big fan of Silent Hill for a long time. And despite my cynical, jaded nature, I just don't trust Konami to do any good. I've played Homecoming. I've played Downpour. I still want to play uh, the, the Silent Hill PS Vita game, but I've not been able to find it in the wild. I probably won't at this point. But... Silent Hill, at its heart, was way, way deeper than anything that Konami could do today. Perhaps if they took Silent Hill 2 and just did it scene by scene remake, maybe they could make something good. But at the same time, they chose Blooper Team to remake it. Now, I'm no genius. I have yet to play the medium. But Blooper Team... I don't think they're the kind of guys that you should get to make a remake to a flagship franchise like Silent Hill 2. I don't think they have the pedigree. And for me personally, that just that just sounds off red flags left and right. I've seen the footage. I haven't seen a lot of the gameplay, but I don't know if they're going to have the heart. Silent Hill, as a franchise, is about your inner demons. It's not about the fear of bioterrorism from Resident Evil. It's not about zombies. It's not about monsters. It's not even really about survival. Silent Hill is not about getting out alive. That's why a lot of people, their first time playing it, they'll get bad endings, or they'll fail, or they'll get stuck in a soft lock. 
Silent Hill is about finding yourself, overcoming your demons, and learning. And I don't think Konami has the talent to to do anything like that. Because all the good stuff about Silent Hill was made by a small team back in the 90s. Team Silent. They've been gone for a long time. I don't know what happened to all of them, but I hope they went on to bigger and better things. Next to role-playing games, obviously, given that my favorite game is The Legend of Dragoon, my favorite franchise of gaming has always been horror. There's always been something about horror that really synced up with me. Possibly because my life in and of itself has been one big fucking nightmare for like 30 years. But I always enjoyed the tangibility of fear. I've seen on Facebook those things like, would you rather wake up in the world of Resident Evil or wake up in the world of Silent Hill? And I'm like, Silent Hill, absolutely. In Resident Evil? Fuck no. No. I'd be in a bar with my friends getting drunk and I wouldn't know about the zombie apocalypse until one of them bit into my face. But with Silent Hill, I'd, I'd black out in that bar, wake up and be in the town and that'd just be the start. A lot of people are scared of their demons. Some of us just learn to live with them. And that's what Silent Hill represents to me. Silent Hill, aside from Harry Mason in the first game, is about broken people. Silent Hill 2 specifically, not a bad game, just overrated as fuck. They threw Pyramid Head in a goddamn everything else they could. <sighs> but it's, it's oftentimes about finding yourself. It's about overcoming pure, unadulterated evil. Much like Konami, who are, in my mind, pure, unadulterated evil. But I've seen so many people so happy and so excited for the idea of them reviving this franchise that's been dead for over a decade now. Man, much like with EA, I'm like, what are you excited about? They're the ones that killed the franchise. They're the ones that let it stagnate. They're the ones that handed it off to a bunch of American Western developers that had no fucking idea what they were doing with the IP. And and don't get me wrong, like I liked I liked Homecoming. I liked Downpour. Downpour was actually very introspective coming from the perspective of a prisoner. But these games had no merit to them. They had no heart. They had no soul. Silent Hill 4 is better than everything else that's come after it. And Silent Hill 4 pairs pales in comparison to the first three games. I mean, how wild is it to to make Silent Hill 2 have nothing to do with the first game outside of the fact that you're in the town of Silent Hill and then make the third entry a direct sequel to the first game where you're playing as the little girl from the first game? That's some shit you can't do these days. Nobody has the balls to make anything good anymore. Everything has to be, you know... By design, everything has to be approved by board meetings and and bullshit fucking PR groups. And I just, I have no faith in it whatsoever. And maybe I'm jaded. Maybe I'm spiteful. Maybe I'm, you know, just a cynical old gamer at this point. But I have no faith whatsoever in the Silent Hill 2 remake. And I don't think you should either. I think very much so that you should curb your enthusiasm. Because Konami really can't be trusted to make anything good anymore. And with them vomiting out not only the Silent Hill 2 remake, but also two other Silent Hill-based things. But there's one Silent Hill that's supposed to be set in the 60s in Japan. And that's just such a Konami thing. Because I don't care if these games are Japanese-made. Silent Hill was an American Midwestern town. Silent Hill was very American. Silent Hill has nothing to do with traditional Japanese horror. If you want traditional Japanese horror, there's there's games like that. There's the Fatal Frame series, which is fucking excellent. But I see so many people losing their minds and getting super excited for Silent Hill 2 Remake, and I just don't get it. I'm not excited for it. I would have preferred maybe a soft reboot. I would have liked to have seen what Hideo Kojima could have done with horror. But that's not going to happen now. And the way Konami handled Hideo Kojima, the way they handled PT, 
the way they let this franchise stagnate for over a decade, I don't have any faith whatsoever in their ability to make an adequate game. Am I being cynical? Am I wrong? You tell me. What do you think? Are you excited for it? Do you trust Konami enough to not fuck this up? Do you expect it to be even remotely close to the caliber that the Resident Evil remakes have been? Like, despite the haters, oh, Resident Evil 3, I thought it was great. This is coming from a hardcore fan. I, I loved it. The cut, the cut content sucks, but Capcom keeps trying to make Resident Evil verse and multiplayer. Nobody cares. Just make another fucking outbreak game. Just make a fucking outbreak game. But like Konami has been screwing up for a very long time. I mean, fuck. Does anybody remember the Silent Hill Collection? I'm not excited for it. And I don't think you should be either. I think you should take my opinion with a grain of salt. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give the video a like. Because, hey, I just don't upload anymore. I've been so fucking busy with life. But Silent Hill 2 Remake, I think it's going to be dog shit. I think it's going to piss off a lot of people. I think it's going to have no heart, no soul. It's going to be fractured, broken. And I think that Blooper Team is ill-equipped, like everyone else has been, to handle this franchise that really should have been left to rest but, you know, corporations going to try to make their money. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. There's some big stuff coming down the way. I can't talk about it yet. But hopefully, cross your fingers, I've got good things coming. A few people know. And those of you that know, don't say anything in the comments. God damn it. But, uh, I'm working on stuff. As for Let's Play content, for anyone that gives a shit, I plan to play the Callisto Protocol when it comes out. I will eventually play Dead Space whenever one of my subscribers sends it to me. And Freya. And I honestly, I, I don't know what to talk about at this point. But the Silent Hill 2 remake, it sounded like a topic I should cover. Because I am a Silent Hill fan. I'm a Resident Evil fan. I love survival horror. Any of you that want a good recommendation for a current-gen survival horror game to play, check out Tormented Souls. It's fantastic. I eventually plan to play Signalis, which I've also heard is amazing. And I know the Resident Evil 8 DLC has come out. I will play it for the channel. Give me a minute. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that Silent Hill 2 Remake is going to be even remotely good. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like the video. And let me know if you missed me. Also, for streaming content, I plan to do that more. I just haven't gotten around to it. Again, busy. But I'm thinking of setting up a schedule for streaming content. So if you guys want to catch me on a stream that's not at 2 a.m. when I'm drunk as shit, beating the man-eater drunk somehow, I don't know how the fuck I did that. Couldn't beat him sober. Let me know how you feel about Wednesdays and Sundays when I'm off. About the middle of the day. I live in Alabama, of course, so I don't know what time frame that is. But I was thinking around, you know, one-ish Wednesdays and Sundays, hopping on and streaming for a few hours and you guys getting to interact with me personally. You can ask me questions, I can answer them in real time, and we can just have a great little time. Let me know what you think of that. Be sure to like the video. And let me know if you've missed me, because I've missed you so very, very much. Take care. Be safe. And I will see you very soon.